After rocking the five-star fight scene for the past few years, amateur fighters Dylan Lilke and Jamie Harrington are on top of the country after qualifying for the World Amateur MMA Championship in July. I was happy because that's what I've been working towards, but then at the same time I was like, oh wow, now, I gotta, now I'm going to have to work even harder because now we're, now we're coming up like, you know, now we're coming up to the world stage. It's nice to be at the top. It's a good feeling to know that you've beaten everybody that's come out and tried for it. The two fighters, along with amateur welterweight Matt Curtez, competed in Lethbridge, Alberta two weekends ago. Both Harrington and Lilkey went undefeated in both of their fights to earn a spot on Team Canada. I want to go there and do the best that I can. I mean, and if I lose, you know, the only guys that are going to beat me are guys that, you know, they're going to know they're, they've been in a fight afterwards, you know, nobody's going to roll over me. The featherweight moved his undefeated record to 8-0 and at Nationals, but Worlds will bring that much more of a challenge. More than 200 athletes from 30 different countries will hit the octagon in Las Vegas. I know that the level is going to be high. Like, one guy's record was 17-7, and seven, so he's had you know quite a bit he's got twice as many wins as I even have fights so it's quite a bit of experience. Lil Key and Harrington take up two of the seven spots on Team Canada. For Harrington her success in Lethbridge can now be attributed to more time in the ring who moves to 4-0 and oh with her two wins. The more fights that I do the more I'm learning to slow down and not be so explosive right off the bat. Listen to my coaches uh, taking what I've learned from here and use it in the ring rather than just resort to what I know. That's the same game plan she'll take to Worlds. But endurance will play a huge factor. Each fighter could square off three days back to back with just one day of rest before the finals. All the days when I wake up the next morning after a fight and like my back sore, my neck sore, like, you know, my shin is sore. It's going to be like, you just got to put that to the back of your mind and just got to go forward. I'm not going in thinking that anybody's better than me nor less better than me. And I'm just going to go and try my best and see where it goes. Those representing the UFC will also be on hand during the championship, and it all begins on July 6th, wrapping up on the 11th. Mitch Bach, CJDC TV Sports, Fort St. John.